Hey everyone, so today we are going to see a trick that will help you to find eigenvalues and eigenvectors for such, such kind of matrices. Such kind as in, whenever you see big big numbers in the matrix, don't get scared. Usually there is one or the other trick or the result that you need to use to solve such kind of problems. Okay, so suppose if this is my matrix A, it's a 3 cross 3 matrix. If I ask you what are the eigenvalues and eigenvectors for this matrix, then how will you find? Do you actually find the eigenvalues for this matrix? Answer is no. We are going to use some nice properties. Okay. And uh, even for this, like if I ask you what are the eigenvalues and eigenvectors for A raised to 6, 1, 7, 4, then what are this? So for this power related thing, I have already discussed in my earlier lecture. Uh, link you will find in the description. So we will answer this question as well and this question as well. Okay. Uh, why I took 6174? I, I like this number a lot because there is a very good mystery behind this number and for this also I have recorded one lecture. So you can just see the link for this as well in the description. Okay. Now coming to this problem. I want to find eigenvalues and eigenvectors for this matrix. Now I'm going to use two important result which I'm going to state and then we will come back to this problem. So what does the result says? It says that if you have a square matrix of order n whose lambda is the eigenvalue and v bar is the eigenvector. Then if I multiply my this matrix A by C that means C A. So then the question is what are the eigenvalues and eigenvectors for C times A. Okay. So for example if you know the eigenvalues and eigenvectors for a matrix A and if I ask you what are the eigenvalues and eigenvectors for 7a, if I am taking c equal to 7, then what are the eigenvalues and eigenvectors for 7a? Or instead of 7, I can take 100. What are eigenvalues and eigenvectors for 100 times a? Okay. So if I know the eigenvalues and eigenvectors for a matrix A, question is, can I also know the eigenvalues and eigenvectors for a scalar multiple of A? Answer is yes. And from here you can see whenever you multiply a matrix by a scalar then the eigenvectors remains the same but in the eigenvalue you have to multiply by that factor okay eigenvalue does not remain the same you need to multiply by that scalar factor okay so proof is very easy so suppose what we have we have a v bar equal to lambda v bar so you multiply by c on both sides so you have this c into lambda v bar so this is c into a into v bar is c into lambda because lambda is a number so it can come out of the vector is this so for c times a matrix your eigenvalue is c times lambda but the eigenvector is the same so for example if i tell you a is a matrix whose eigenvalues are 2 and 3 and 4 i will ask you what are the eigenvalues for uh, say 7 times a so it will be what you simply multiply this by 7 so 14 21 and 28 so once I know the eigenvalues for a I can know the eigenvalues for any scalar multiple of a it is nothing but you multiply that eigenvalue by that scalar what about eigenvectors they remains the same okay good so this is the first result that I am going to use now let's go for the second result so what does the second result says so if you have a square matrix such that lambda is the eigenvalue and v bar is the eigenvector then if you take a plus alpha i where what is my i i is the identity matrix if i take this then for that what do i have is eigenvectors remains the same but for the eigenvalue you add that scalar okay this is only for alpha times identity matrix only the scalar matrix if I don't take scalar matrix then the result is not true okay so this is what the result is and the proof is also very easy if I start with the left hand side what do I have I have a plus lambda i into v bar you simply take v bar inside so a v bar plus alpha what is i into v bar is the v bar itself but what is a into v bar it is given to be lambda v bar and from here if I take out v bar outside so whenever you have a matrix to which you are adding a scalar matrix then eigenvectors remains the same but in the eigenvalue you have to add that scalar component 
okay so if i want to explain you with the help of an example so suppose if i have a matrix a whose eigen values are 2 3 4 and if i ask you what are the eigen values of a plus say 8 i what are the eigen values of a plus 8 i so this is nothing but you have to simply add this scalar factor to this eigen value so it is 10 11 12 8 plus 2 3 plus 8 4 plus 8 and the eigen vectors remains the same so this is out about a and a plus scalar matrix okay now we have enough ammunitions now let's try to answer our first question so this was your matrix a now if you have observed carefully only for the diagonal entries there is it is one more than the non diagonal entries so what i did i am just removing this one 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 over here and this will be what now my all entries will be what 2020 all of my entries will be 2020 because non diagonals i am not touching and for diagonal entries i have this one i got it over here so your this is nothing but the whole 2020 so i can take out 2020 outside what do we have we have 111 plus the identity matrix so now it's enough to find the eigenvalues for this matrix 1 1 and 1 Okay, and if I try to find the eigenvalues and eigenvectors for this matrix 1 1 1 what do I get is well I have done the calculation for you so eigenvalues for this matrix for this let me call this as a matrix B so eigenvalues for B matrix so what is my A now my A is nothing but 2 0 2 0 times B plus identity this is what my matrix A is so what are the eigenvalues for B so the E values that means the eigenvalues for B are 0, 0 and 3. Now as we saw from our first result, if I know the eigenvalues of a matrix, if I multiply a matrix by a scalar, then what happens? Eigenvectors remains the same, but this eigenvectors for 2, 0, 2, 0 times B is nothing but you multiply the eigenvalues by that number. So again 0, 0, 6, 0, 6, 0. And now by second property, what are the eigenvalues for this plus i? So now my alpha is 1, alpha times i, my alpha is 1 over here, 1 times i. So what you do is you simply add 1 to the previous, this eigenvalues, which is nothing but 1, 1, 6, 1, 6, 1. So the eigenvalues for the given matrix A, which, which I wrote here, are 1, 1, 6, 1, 6, 1. So these are the three eigenvalues. So see, by looking at the smart observation, we can easily tell what are the eigenvalues and the eigenvectors. Eigenvectors for this matrix, B matrix, you find it out, is easy. You have 0, 0, 3. These are very small number. And these entries are also very nice. All entries are 1. So finding eigenvectors for this vector, this matrix is very easy as compared to finding the eigenvalues and the eigenvectors for the given matrix. Okay. So eigenvectors for the given matrix will be same as that of the eigenvectors of the matrix B and the eigenvalues for the matrix A are 1, 1, 6161. Okay. And now suppose further, if I ask you what are the eigenvalues and eigenvectors for A raised to say 2070 and this I told you in my earlier lecture whenever you take a power again the eigenvectors remains the same but for the eigenvalue you take this power so 1 raised to 2070 1 raised to 2070 6161 raised to 2070 so these are the eigenvalues for this matrix okay so I hope you got the idea now let me give you one homework problem so this is the matrix A, you have to tell me what are the eigenvalues for this matrix. Okay, so do the smart adjustment, there is a difference of 13. Okay, so do this smart adjustment, apply the same technique and in the comment section tell me the eigenvalues. Okay, so I hope you understood how to find eigenvalues and eigenvectors for such type of matrices. If you have any doubt, you can ask me in the comment section or if you understood this lecture, then do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you.